why in this video we are going to understand how as an individual if you are a fresher or if you are a student and you're heard of this language of java how you can make your career what is the roadmap you have to follow and what are the opportunities or i should say what are the areas where you can actually expect your career to be made using java You must have seen the applications like Amazon, Netflix, Google. You must have heard about Mars Rover or NASA. These are few of the companies which were actually using Java in the initial days. The code base has Java in them. If I talk about the Android application, majority of the Android applications are built on Java. So obviously when we talk about career in Java, so there are so many applications being built around Java or I should say using Java that potentially if we talk about career, it's actually going to be growing, growing there. Now, obviously a reason can come from your side, like there are so many languages, which one should I choose? And is Java is actually the right language. So I would say Java is potentially one of the uh, most popular language for a very specific reason majority of the applications are using it and when you install Java like again I don't remember but back in 2012 2011 when you used to install Java they used to say around a billion devices are running using Java so you can understand the kind of impact this language has created in the globe and now we have to understand how you as an individual can make your career or I should say can make a big career using Java as a language Okay, now let's try to understand what makes Java unique and why industry is so concerned that they are hiring Java developers on a regular basis. First of all, if I talk about in terms of simplicity, so it is one of the simple programming languages to learn. Now, I cannot comment on that it is one of the simplest, but I'm going to say that it is one of the simplest because for a very specific reason, it is not very complicated with the different features like garbage collection, which actually happens with Java where it was not happening with C, C++ fine. So you can understand as a beginner, I can understand quite easily. Secondly, if I talk about it is an object oriented programming language. So you can understand since all the software development around the globe is happening using object oriented methodology. So we would prefer a language which actually supports this kind of a methodology. Then next point would obviously be in terms of security. So when I talk about security, Java has some extensive security features which make their application which are built on java quite secure and finally which is one sort of a debatable debatable point if i may some people can comment on it some people can debate on it but obviously java is a bit faster language even though it runs on a java java virtual machine but yes in terms of the fastness or i should say the speed yes this is one of the fast language so you can understand with these following features if i may java is quite industry centric and a lot of people or i should say a lot of enterprises a lot of companies where they are actually working and they are making sure that the world actually moves so they are using java for these kind of reasons now when you're aiming to actually make your career in java what are the sort of skill set if i may which are required to actually make your career in Java. So first of all, obviously you have to understand the core syntax of Java because without that, obviously it will be a bit difficult. Now, if you're coming from different programming languages, it might be difficult. But if Java is the first language which you're learning, it could be quite easy because obviously it supports object-oriented programming uh, methodology, which actually makes it easy to learn. Secondly, you have to understand the object-oriented programming concepts. Now, object-oriented programming concepts or I should say oops which I'm talking about it's actually quite a lot discussed in this video for a very specific reason Java actually relies on object oriented concepts and if you're not going to understand these concepts it is going to be very difficult for you to actually excel or I should say make a better career in Java then the last point which I want to mention obviously not last but not the least is you have to un understand how Java works so basically what happens when we are learning a programming language when you're planning to make a career out of it, the difference between a beginner and the difference between an expert is quite simple. The beginner just learns what he's being taught. The expert actually learns everything around it so that they can actually use those important points or I should say set of rules towards their advantage. So if you understand how Java works at the background level, if I may, or at the memory level, or I should say at the a virtual machine level so you can actually make a better application which are quite memory extensive they are memory oriented and they are very process oriented so that your application actually works quite amazingly 
Okay, now this is one of the most important part of the video. Here we are going to discuss what kind of a career you can expect out of Java. So if you have the expertise of Java, if you learn the programming language, now where you can actually explore various uh, career opportunities. So first career opportunity, which is very good opportunity if I talk about and you can potentially make a difference for ev almost everyone who uses an Android phone. You can actually make your career as an Android developer or I should say mobile application developer. Now basically what happens, uh, Android ecosystem relies a lot on Java. Okay, obviously Kotlin is one language which, with, with which we can make Android application. But yes, Java is one programming language which is quite popular. If I will go to Stack Overflow, you can actually see that it is one of the third most popular language where developers are making applications. So you can see that if you're making a career in Java, mobile application development or I should say Android application development is one thing where you can actually expect a exponential career growth because irrespective of what kind of a startup which is coming in, if they are developing an application, Android is one such operating system which they cannot miss and obviously they have to make an I should say mobile, a mobile application which is going to be built using Java. Now, second opportunity you can explore is obviously web development. In web development, if I talk about whatever extensive work or I should say heavy lifting which is happening in the backend is going to be dependent on Java. So you can imagine all the big applications. I'll take a very simple example of Amazon. Now, initial code base of Amazon was built on Java. Now, since I don't work in Amazon and I probably have never seen the code which Amazon actually releases. So obviously you can see that uh, I cannot confirm that, but obviously from my own research, from the internet research, I have found that Amazon initially built their code on Java. There is a good, uh, good resources which are available, all the extension and tools which actually tell you that there are potentially so many languages which are using Java. So you can understand that applications which are built using Java, the web applications if I talk about are quite extensive applications. So all the back end part of the applications if I may or web applications are handled using Java. Now apart from the web applications if I talk about Next kind of application which you can probably build is desktop applications. Now these days if I talk about there are so many, so less amount of desktop applications because majority of the work happens on the browser, but the applications which are used by military, the applications which are used for scientific purposes, the applications which are used for the uh, uh, astronomy, uh, sorry, astro uh, I, I should say NASA or ISRO, the companies are using that. Those kind of applications are built using Java because they are actually enterprise grade application. So you can imagine you can build some great desktop applications using Java and you can actually make a good career out of it. The majority of the advantage you get here in the desktop application development of Java if I may. These are the companies who are using this application are quite big companies. So if you are actually aiming for a big career growth, this is where you can actually make your career. Now, the next next location or I should say area where you can actually expertise or I should say you can actually make your career is building enterprise application. Now I have so many friends who are actually developing uh, Java based application for the like let's say CCTV uh, monitoring part of it, traffic monitoring part of it. So you can understand all the big companies or I should say enterprises, I would say like the government, the local government if I talk about the big companies which are actually building huge applications irrespective of web application, server application or desktop application they rely quite a lot on Java. Now, there is a special edition, if I may, which is known as Java Double E, which is known as Enterprise Edition, which is specifically built to support these kind of applications. So when someone says, I understand what is Java Double E, or I have worked on, or I have the expertise of Java Double E, you can understand the kind of potential or the career growth they can expect out of it. Now, the finally, the last area where I want to focus on is games. All the major gaming uh, companies, if I talk about, have used Java for their special use case. So if you are building 2D games, 3D games, there is a good possibility that it is built using Java. Now, I'm not going to say that the full game is built using Java because there are so many things which are involved, but obviously all the multiplayer, uh, I should say multiplayerness, or I should say all the live gaming or the chatting part, they can actually be handled quite well using Java compared to the other languages. So you can understand that these are the following areas where you can actually make a great career if you have learned Java.
Now, what are the job roles and responsibilities? If I talk about you get as a Java developer. So first job which you obviously get is Java junior developer. Now, basically a junior developer is a person who has no experience in Java, but has expertise or I should say has learned the skill of Java. So they go to a company and they say, hey, I'm a fresher and I want this. Uh, I have a skill set of Java and I need a job. So your basic roles and responsibilities to actually understand what company is doing and following the instructions which are given by the senior. Now, obviously, at this level, there will be not a lot expectation from your side because they understand what kind of an expertise or what kind of a skill set you possess. So that is why not majority of the roles and responsibilities will be handled to you. But obviously, if you actually stick around for next six to one year, sorry, six, six months to one year, you will actually move towards the upper ladder of that particular company. The next, if I talk about the responsibility or the job role you get is obviously of senior developer. Now, senior developer is a person who has around three to four years of experience. I personally know a person who is actually working in a big company. Again, I'm not going to say the name of the company and his package is around 30 LP and he's as a he's a Java full stack developer. So you can understand Java has a huge potential. Java has a huge potential and he's actually working in a senior role. So his role is not actually to start coding and start making the code and start shifting the code. It is basically having all those junior developers make a project and actually ship it. So basically what happens instead of you working alone, you actually have a huge team with which you work. Now that depends upon the size of the team, but yes, this is the kind of an opportunity you get. The next role which you can actually expect is obviously an architect. Now, architect is a person who is actually designing and making sure how the application is developed altogether. So this is more of a conceptual thing. Okay, this is how we are going to move forward with the application and this is how we are going to build the application just like we build a, a blueprint of, of something. Okay, so this is how the Java architect, if I may, actually works. Now, as we have already discussed, the Java web developer, your role will be actually to manage the backend part of the application. So whatever application is being consumed, let's take an example of Amazon. If someone says, I want to purchase this particular product, how you want to show that page, what kind of a data you want to show, what kind of a data you have to hide, that all happens from the backend. Now, I'm not saying Java, uh, uh, Amazon is not using any front end framework, but yes, if that if it was not using, this is how a web developer or I should say Java web developer will be actually taking care of how Amazon as a company works. Then obviously the next role which you can expect is of Java Android application developer where you can actually develop Android application. Obviously the salary range starts but obviously you will be starting from a junior position and then you will, you will be shifting towards the senior position. The final and the most important role if I may which you can get as a Java developer is Java double E developer. These are kind of pros and very rare kind of people for a very specific reason. They are known as enterprise developer who, who have the good experience, who understand how enterprise work and then they can provide solution to the enterprise. Enterprise are very big companies which have maybe lacks of customers or I should say lacks of employees at least. So building an application or I should say building an infrastructure so that it can support these many people, it's very vital. So when we talk about Java double E developer, you can imagine he's a very, very, very professional and he has so many expertise or I should say so much expertise with which they can actually move a company from one location to different location using the tech of Java. Now, what kind of a salary range you can actually expect as a Java developer? So if you're working in United States, if you're looking for international salary, you can imagine around 110K to 140K that depends upon your range. And I, and obviously that depends upon your expertise, but this is how you, how much you can expect with Java. And obviously if you are an Indian developer, you can imagine your salary range from being 4 lakh to 10 lakh LPA per annum. So you can understand there is a good opportunity growth. If you're aiming for something and if you're thinking as a fresher, you want to get started, this, this can be a good opportunity for you to get started for a very specific reason that it has a great career opportunity or I should say has a great career growth where compared to other fields where it actually lacks a lot. So in conclusion, as a Java developer, if I may, you can actually make a great career in this particular field. But the question will always be what else you should be learning? Well, obviously, in terms of learning something else, communication is something you should be learning. Team collaboration is something that these kind of skill set you should always possess. But if you feel like that something is missing, 
what I would suggest that if you are a, if you are aiming to make your career as a Java developer or if you are making aiming to make your career in Java, what I would suggest possess some different skills as well. Usually, it is suggested cloud computing, big data, if I may, or machine learning as some of the skill set which you should actually uh, possess so that it can complement what you are already aware of. So, like let's say if you are a Java developer and you have the expertise of cloud computing, your career growth will be exponential. And if you want to understand how you can actually give a career growth or I should say exponential career growth in that scenario there is a link which is given in the description of this video C click that link submit your details and someone from our team can assist you with all your career related query and if you have some query related to how to actually make a great career in java obviously they can help you in that as well